Right then, sex, drugs and rock and roll. Well, one out of three's not bad, I suppose. Uh, my, <laughs> my next guest, uh, and I have quite a lot in common, actually. We went to the same school, first of all, but not at the same time. I think he was avoiding me. Well, and who could we are me? common. What? A lot in common, or that we are common. Well, we definitely are. Well, I'm well, common. I can't speak for you, but I mean... Well, yeah. I'm a commoner. They, well, we're both common. Yeah, which is it? very apt for this weekend, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any road up. You've, I've lost my thread now. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot in common. We both went to the same school. I play in a band. He played in a band. Uh, he went on to score hit after hit after hit with multi-million sales of records. Uh, and I play in the band, and... <laughs> and you're a bit Inspector Morse this morning as well, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, the old Obstinus <laughs> choice. I can only apologise. Dave Bartram from Chiwadi Wadi. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Tony. I'm sorry that you're ailing. Oh, well, you know. The show must go on, as they say. You must have had this time and again in your career oh, as me. a singer, front man with Shawadi Wadi. Goodness me. Uh, I mean, you couldn't cancel a gig, could you, through your voice or your chest problems? One always tried not to. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, there were times when when the dreaded laryngitis kicked in, yeah. where you literally couldn't speak. And, and even sort of not speaking for five or six hours, which doctors recommended that you, was the, the course of action to take. Um, no, it wasn't enough. And, you know, I've had times on stage where all of a sudden I've gone for a high one and... <coughs> Awful. Oof, it's not there. That is just um, awful. Happened to oh, me last night. It's, it's the worst feeling in the world. And you uh, want to die, don't you? Oh, you do want to die, and you and you try for another two or three songs to to struggle through, and you're only making matters worse, really. So, uh, no, I think it happened to me throughout a a 38 year career with uh, Shawadi Wadi, probably about six times. Oh, that's not bad going then. So is it? it's not too bad. not bad at all. Do you miss it? Because I mean, you stood back. Uh, from fronting Shawadi Wadi some time back now, didn't you? Yeah, I went over to see the boys uh, just a few weeks ago uh, in Litchfield, a lovely venue in Litchfield called the Garrick Theatre, and um, I walked out on stage to introduce them. Oh, nice. And um, the, the buzz, well, from the audience was phenomenal. Ah. And I thought, goodness, they actually like me, this lot. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and I came away sort of th thinking, you know, I'm, that was a nice little boost to the ego, but yeah. uh, I, d I don't think I miss the, I certainly don't miss the aches and pains and, you know, the hoarse voice in the, the morning after. Sure. I, d I don't miss that at all, and, you know, it has given me uh, the, well, the opportunity to, to write, which I, I'd wanted to do, and you know, I've just completed my second book, which obviously we'll, we'll be chatting about, but... Um, You're becoming prolific now as an author, because this is book two, isn't what's it? What's that mean? It means, it means uh, a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, somebody said to me the other day, yeah, you're, you're very erudite. I said, what? That's a, that's a type of glue. Even, that's a type of glue even a, I know that. It is that. a glue. That, yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's right. But uh, yeah, it's given me the opportunity to, to actually you know, put pen to paper and, uh, and a few reminiscences. And now I'm actually kind of edging towards the world of fiction for, oh, for number you? three oh yeah. my goodness which because i love i love telling stories i can tell a good old ripping yarn yes uh of which there are i think my publisher said to me there are 300 stories in this book my goodness um i said oh that sounds a little bit tedious well it's sort of <laughs> it's sort of base uh, i say sort of it's entirely based really on the uh, the tour of of the uk you visit every city and each one has a tale of its own. Each one has a tale you can to tell. tell. Each one has a tale or two to tell. And it is, you know, as it says on the on the jacket, uh, the UK tour of a lifetime. But uh, it doesn't only focus on on the days with uh, Shawadi Wadi. It uh, it r actually goes right back to uh, to my childhood and day trips from the school to Lincoln Cathedral and and um, things that kind of happened along the way uh, hey, and there's hey. a lot of amusing stories there's uh, there's a few people's feathers likely to be ruffled excellent um you know which the publisher urged me to uh, <laughs> to try and stay uh, air on the side of caution as regards you know the, the legal side sure but um so we've we've boxed clever and i think we've come up with an entertaining product and uh, and there's a there's some 
incredible stories in there that uh, that I've had a lot of help from friends that I've, I've known in the industry over the years. And so, do you remember that night when such and such? And God, I'd forgotten that. And, uh, and, it's, and it all comes. And they're all back. there, and, it, and and it's amazing doing it city by city. I kind of moved on to to Cambridge, and uh, and my wife immediately said, "Oh, do you remember that time you made a complete mug of yourself trying to punt down the camp?" I thought, oh, God, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in there. And right. uh, the, the, the right and wrong ways to uh, to attempt to punt down the uh, the glorious cam through the lovely city of Cambridge. But uh, but obviously there's all the rock and roll tales and there are stories in there of uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Paul McCartney. There's a lot of, lot of name dropping. You name uh, dropper, you. Yeah, if well, you can't drop names, who the hell can? Well, you know, I was hey. urged urged to uh, drop as many names as possible to right. make the product attractive, I suppose. Wise advice. Hey, look, I'm looking down the list of contents and it's uh, alphabetical, as you might imagine. Well, it, 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 I've it, got to Lancaster, Leeds, Litchfield, Lincoln, Little... Where's Leicester? Leicester is the final chapter. The, oh! You, you, were, you were actually... <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> you, were actually, you will actually find that the, fir the opening chapter is not alphabetically correct. Uh, the opening chapter is Sunderland, which is... which kind of paints the picture of a struggling band um, striving to succeed uh, against... Well, just about all the odds, right. and um, and we we finish up in Leicester for obvious reasons because uh, not only is the city close to my heart, it's I'm, I'm a birthplace. Uh, there are there's, uh, some crack. I, I don't really want to give too much too away. Much away. To, to no, be, I understand. To be honest, but there are uh, there, there's a couple of cracking tales about Leicester. I'm looking forward to reading this. I truly am. <laughs> so, what are you doing with yourself now, then, Dave? Apart from writing books? Well, I'm still I still have a management uh, stroke agency uh, business that's still thriving, uh, doing very 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 well for me. And because um, you manage Shawadi Wadi, now, yeah, I still manage Shawadi yeah. Wadi, and I you know book a few old mates out. I, I was actually booking dear old Alvin Stardust out right um, well, until really? the day he, uh, yeah, he, yeah. he curled his toes up. And there's a story about Alvin in there as well. Um, I only met him once, you know, and that was over the road at the Holiday Inn in Leicester. Yeah. And this was in the, ooh, when would it be, 1974, something like that. He know? probably would have had a, quite an inflated ego at that time. I found him a very uh, nice man. Yeah, I mean, he, he did like to live the rock and roll lifestyle. Yeah. But he, he calmed a lot in his, in his later years. Because it was a second time round for Alvin, wasn't it? He was Shane Fenton originally. Bernard Dury, I think. Bernard Dury was his, was his name. Yeah. yeah. He used to call him Bernie. He hated it. Did he really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> loathed it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but you know, he was—he was a nice guy. And I was, you know, very saddened, obviously, to hear of his death. But uh, but it, it, you say twice, now, he almost three careers because he he was originally Shane Fenton, yep, um, and uh, obviously relaunched himself as Alvin Stardust as a kind of seventies kind of glam rock artist, the Man in Black. Yeah, yeah. and then in the eighties, kind of moved into kind of more M.O.R. territory. Yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, he had a heck of a career. But I had a lot of fun on the road with him. You're a survivor, I think it's fair to say. I mean, 38 years fronting Shawadi Wadi, I mean, you must have had temptations. Oh, yeah. That was a leading question, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it, it is. I just going to throw that into the Very loaded, that one. And see how you respond. But I'm... Giving you thinking time to dig yourself well, of out. Of course, this I mean we're all, we're, <laughs> you know, we're, we're all human and we're all curious. Yes, and um, yes, but once again, you've got to buy the book, of course, to uh, to find out. Oh, very well <laughs> circumnavigated, very well circumnavigated. Uh, you've also got a very successful marriage, which Indeed. again is something of a rarity in showbiz these days, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I suppose I was fortunate in that um, you know, the the period of my career uh, when. The young ladies kind of threw themselves at me. Uh, I, I was a single man and enjoyed just about every minute of it. Mm. And when I got into my early 30s, I was very fortunate to meet a, a very grounded girl uh, to whom I'm still married. We've celebrated uh, 30 years just Brilliant. recently. Kathy. Yeah. Well, if you're listening this morning, Kathy, it sounds as if you've she's, got a good She's marriage. out shopping. I just dropped her off in town, so oh, really? she's out shopping. Her own credit she's, card, I hope. Um... <laughs> Possibly not. Possibly. Oh dear. <laughs> but no, she's very thrifty, actually. Yeah. Fair play to her. She is extremely thrifty, and that's that all as to the the success. 
So, do you ever have the urge to perform? I mean, you mentioned about coming on stage recently and introducing the band. Mm -hmm. And it left you with a bit of a buzz. You know, they say once a musician, once a performer, always a performer. It's got to still be in your blood, Dave. Well, it, it, it is. I mean, I have actually been out and done a couple of solo performances. I did, actually did. There was one, one at the Western. There was one at the Western, at the Western, Western here, wasn't it? which I, I enjoyed immensely. And was, that sold out, didn't it? It did, and it was wonderful just to sit there and, and go back to uh, my kind of early teens when I was learning to play the guitar and I, I actually learnt to finger pick. Right. And I'm sat there kind of finger picking these so a few obscure shawaddy waddy tracks and oh, I'm, right. I'm sitting there finger picking hey you with your smiling eyes <laughs> and it and it's it, i enjoyed it immensely yes. to be able to hear myself sing and just picking at the guitar it was lovely that was and a sellout that night yeah. wasn't it? i couldn't make it and i wanted so much to come along and support you it was a lovely and hear what you had to say and sing yeah and i, I planned to go out do it again well, I will do it. I, I certainly will do it again. And we were planning a launch, actually, for, for the book, which um, we've had a few problems with. Uh, the editor was... He suffered illness. And uh, so things... We were due to do a launch up in Sheffield, but um, that, that didn't quite happen. But I was looking forward immensely to, to getting out there and doing a bit more picking and plonking away at the Joanna as well, but uh, just to show a, a slightly different side. But... Um, but it, it it will happen for sure because you know I do still like to like to sing and 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 people don't realise this kind of a a tender gentle side to uh, to Bartram yeah so it's the other side the well, flip is, side I mean, still of Dave Bartram stick a couple of hit singers people want to hear them but you know when it's when it's myself on my own and I, I, I'm actually recording a brand new song to go on on YouTube which I've written to accompany the book. Oh really? Yeah, it's a song about my travels. Oh wow! So that will be when the when the book is released for trade. It's only available online as of this week. Okay. Uh, when the book is released to the trade in August, um, it, that will be up on on YouTube, and I'll be getting out and doing all okay. all manner of things. All right, let's have a copy of that, and we'll give it a spin. Yeah, that's all indeed. Right with you. indeed. So it's all mapped out. The latest offering uh, by Dave Bartram from Shawadi Wadi, the UK tour of a lifetime. It's by Phantom Publishing and um it's av available now but online only online only August. direct from the publishers oh, but uh, there is a link from the shawadi wadi website directly to the publishers that's shawadi wadi.net isn't Dot net, it yeah there you go yeah. dave lovely to see you again mate. thank you